Hi guys! Welcome to my channel again. So, we're back and we will be doing um, a giraffe inspired beanie for a 4 month year, a 4 month old baby. Okay, so itong beanie na to, though pang 4 month old, gusto niya medyo, gusto ng client ay medyo um, malaki-laki ng konti sa baby para mas matagal daw siyang gamitin. So, I'm probably going to make um, a, a beanie which fits to from four month to one year old okay so the materials that we're going to use are the following of course i have here three different yarns so these three are all in the fill okay so i have a light yellow medyo nag iba lang yung kulay niya sa um video because of the camera effect we also have here parang caramel yung kulay niya or beige pala beige Okay, and this one is um, golden brown. Okay, I also have here a pair of scissors. Um, I'm going to use also um, a knitting needle. Hindi ko lang nalagay dito, okay? So, these are for the eyes. For amigurumi, kaya lang ito ay parang may tornillo. So, ang gagawin ko, wapatanggal ko na lang to kasi wala akong makitang kulay black na button. And I'm using, I will be using a 4mm hook because... We will have um, a double pull of each of our yarn. Okay, to begin with our beanie or hat, we'll have to make um, a magic ring. Okay, so this is how I do my magic ring. We will start with two chains and this will be considered as one double crochet. So which means we will only have another eight double crochets. To make it nine so three four five six seven eight and nine okay so just pull this I'm um, actually you can make three uh, double uh, three chains here. Most of the time, what we do is we just um, have two chains or three chains, which is which is equivalent to one double crochet. But for me, I often make two chains. Bakit? Kasi yung three chains minsan equivalent siya ng one double crochet. Minsan ang laki ng butas dito. So kan kanina tinray ko yung three chains, kaya lang hindi ko gusto. At least ito medyo Okay siya, kumpara dun sa tatlo. Okay, so I have now 9 um, double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's just slip stitch on the second chain from the first one you made. From the first double crochet. Okay, so meron na kayong ganyan. Hilahin nyo lang para mawala yung butas dito. Okay, and make another 2 double crochets. And then we will leave this space. We will move here on the second one. So, two. We'll have to make two double crochets on each of the, on top of each um, double crochet. So, two, 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 hanggang sa makarating sa dulo. Okay, so yung unang double crochet, nalagyan na natin ng dalawa. Yung pangalawa ay lalagyan ulit natin ng dalawa. Okay. So, this is the third. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and the ninth is this one. Okay, so kaya tay kaya natin iniwan tong double crochet natin at two chains natin jan. Okay, and then 
slip stitch on the second chain and then chain 2 again. Okay, so for now, meron na tayong ganyan, medyo curved na siya. So we will leave that again. We will move to the second double crochet and the pattern would be one double crochet on the next is two double crochets on the third is one double crochet on the fourth is two double crochet so ganun lang pa ulit ulit hanggang makarating ng dulo so this is the first one we'll have to make one double crochet here is two next is one and then two Okay, I'm going to repeat this. One, two, and then and the next one is another one double crochet. Next one is two double crochets. So, ganun lang po ang gagawin nyo hanggang sa marating nyo yung dulo. Alternate lang. One, and then two, one, and then slip stitch okay just chain 2 and then actually pwede nga chain 1 lang eh kasi inililive naman natin to okay so pwede tayong mag mag chain 1 lang dito Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is one double crochet on the first double crochet. Dito, one then, Dito, two. So, ang magiging pattern natin ay one, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. Until you reach the end and do a slip stitch. Okay? So, I'm going to show you the first two rows. I mean this row okay we have two double crochets and here and the third one is two okay so next na tayo one double crochet one double crochet and then two okay so ganun lang po one double crochet one double crochet and then, on the next is 2. Okay, so that's it. Just continue doing that until you reach the end. Okay, nandito na ako sa may bandang dulo. So, I'll just have to make 1. 1. And then 2 double crochets on this space. Okay, saan po tayo mag slip stitch? Dito. Okay, just chain one the next is we'll make on the same stitch one double crochet kasi gusto ko nang maalis yung ano na to space na to so ang ginawa ko na lang ay chain one and then one ha ah, one double crochet sa tabi niya on the same stitch okay so ang magiging pattern na natin ngayon ay one 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 and then two okay May isa na ako. 1, 2, 3. And then, dito tayo mag increase Okay, tatlong si, uh, tatlong tigi isang double crochet. Tapos, yung last ay dalawang double crochet. Mapapansin nyo naman yan kasi merong yung increases. 1, tatlo nito. 2, and then, 3. Okay? And then, saka tayo, mag increase dito sa increase na to. Okay. Just continue until you reach here. Nandito na ako sa dulo. So, 1, 2, 3, and then dalawa. And then, slip stitch. Dito. Ano ang purpose ng chain 1? 
para lang po maiwasan natin yung space dito. Kasi tingnan nyo kanina, may space siya. Ayoko nung may ganon. Okay, so that's why I decided to go back to my usual way of um, slip stitching and then kung ano yung mga susunod na stitch. Okay, so dito, oh, wala siya masyadong ito itong area na uh, it's because of the um, chain 1 that we did. Okay, so dito, nagka-chain 1 na ulit tayo. On the same stitch, we will have 1 double crochet. Okay, so kung kanina, tatlo yung nag-iisang double crochet nat nagtigiisang double crochet natin ngayon nag-iisang double crochet naman sa apat na magkakasunod na double crochet so paano yon 1 2 3 4 okay so four consecutive um, double crochets so on the fifth one we will have ito yung may chia, may increase kanina so we will have two double crochets okay so i'm going to show you one more time so one two three four yan yung double crochet lang natin isa dito sa fifth we'll have um two double crochets by the way we are now on our sixth row one two three four five six okay kaya dapat makabuo tayo ng anim na double crochets dito yung pang lima dun tayo mag increase magdadagdag ng pang anim Okay, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pang lima na to. So, we will add, or we will increase on the same stitch. Ayan. So, meron na tayong anim na double crochets. Okay, so just two exactly as what we did. And then, slip stitch here. Okay, so on our 6th row, ganito na yung magiging itsura ng ating um, hat or beanie. Okay, so nag-slip stitch na po ako. We'll just chain 1. On the same stitch, we'll have a double crochet. Okay, ang gagawin naman po natin ay 1 double crochet on 5 consecutive Du um, double crochets on top of double crochets so ang magiging ano natin nasa 7th row na tayo so makakagawa dapat tayo ng 7 double crochets on the 6th one we will increase para maging ito okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so, increase. 7. Okay, one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then increase on the same stitch. Okay, so just do the same thing. Okay, so ito na po, 7th row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we'll have to make another row, so chain 1, and then another double crochet. So ang gagawin naman natin ngayon ay 8 double crochets, yung pattern ay 8 double crochets, pero yung 8 um, double crochet ay magiging increase lang siya. So, on the 7th double crochet, that's where we place our 8th eight double crochet. Okay? So, pat parang katulad lang kanina. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Okay, and then increase. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then 
increase. Okay, so just do the same thing until you reach the end. Okay, so we are already done with our eight rows. So, kunwari ito yung ulo ng bata. Ayan. Because I am using um, double crochet here, I think this would be enough kasi lalaki naman yung itsura nito kapag ka nadagdagan na natin yung rows. Okay, so tapos na yung mismong hat. Ito na yung itsura niya. Lalagyan ko na lang ng lining na kulay brown kasi may mga batik-batik dito sa gilid. Okay, kung mapapansin niyo kahit pa paano, medyo straight na siya ng konti. Nag-decrease po ako dito sa gilid. Okay, para hindi siya parang smiley ang dating. Kasi pag hindi kayo nag-decrease, pag ganun, semicircle ang dating niya. Okay. Explain ko muna bago ako mag next na yarn. Okay, so ito yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dito ako, nagkaroon ng increases. Tapos, dito sa ninth row, no increase na ito. Together with the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Pagdating sa 13th row, dito naman sa row na to ako nag-decrease ng dalawang double crochet sa magkabilang gilid. So, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa yan bago tayo mag-proceed. Meron kasi, di ba, 8 Eight rows yon, eight rows times ah nine, kasi nine yung foundation chain ko dito, nine na double crochet. So ang ginawa ko, dahil mayroon na kong seventy two na double crochets bago ako na decrease, so binawasan ko siya ng dalawa, ginawa ko ng seventy. Okay, so yung nasa gilid, ganito lang po kung paano mag decrease. Okay, so ulitin ko to. May iniwan akong dalawang spaces dito. Okay? So, ang ginawa kong decrease ay ganito. One. Again. One. One. And then, pull through. Three. Okay? So, ganyan po. Mag double crochet together. So, gumawa ako ng double crochet together dito sa side na to. Ayan. Ayan yung double crochet together ko. Tapos, ito. Okay. Kaya, pagdating dito sa pinakababa, sa last row, ito ay 70 na lang. 70 na double crochets. Okay? Kaya din medyo nagkaganyan na yung kanyang itsura. Okay? So, i-close ko na to para makapag-add na ng brown. Okay? So, pwede nyong i-chain one tapos sa kanya isingit dito yung um, yarn. Pero ang gagawin ko, minsan ganito ang ginagawa ko. Okay, di ba naka-slip stitch ka? Okay, pull this one. Tapos mamaya, tatali ko na lang siya. Okay. And then, chain one. And then, single crochet all the way. Okay, so I'm done. Slip stitch na. And then cut your yarn. Pull this. Okay, so you can weave this end later. So para ito, ito banda sa may nose ng giraffe. Okay, so the same thing. You just have to make a double, a, a magic ring. Okay, by the way, I'm changing my hook from 4mm to 3.5mm. 
chain two and then make seven double crochets including the two chains one two three four five six let's make another one okay and just pull this and then chain three okay so we're almost doing the same thing with what we did here okay but the difference is just we're making a semicircle okay so we'll have to make um two double crochets in each okay the same thing with what we did here okay so i have here three chains i'll make two in each chain three turn your work ang gagawin ko po ay one two one two one two katulad nitong pangatlo so dalawa and then one And then two, one, and then another two. Okay, kailangan natin gumawa ng mas malaki. 1, 2, 3. So, ang gagawin ko naman dito ay 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. Pang 4th row na tayo. 2, 1, one and two okay just just repeat that pattern until you reach here okay so natapos na natin yung bandang bibig ng giraffe ang, gagaw, ang ginawa ko po dito ay 6 rows of double crochet kung paano nyo ginawa yung rows dun sa bini ninyo or sa hat, ganun din po dito okay, so um, 6 rows lang po ang gagayahin natin sa hat and then dito naman sa baba ay naglagay ako ng tig to 2 single crochet sa ilalim okay, so ngayon ang gagawin naman natin ay yung nose Dito sa nose, ang gagawin lang ay sisimula natin with a magic ring and in the magic ring, gawa lang po tayo ng 6 or 7 na, sing, uh, na half double crochet. So, after that, pwedeng 6 para hindi ganun kaliit, pwede ring 5. Wag pag 7 kasi medyo malaki na. So, ito na po, nakadalawa na tayo. Just slip stitch kung natapos ninyo yun and then pull the end. So, here's your um, nose. Okay, so I will end the first part of this video. Please watch the second part para malaman natin kung paano gagawin yung para sa tenga at yung sungay.